The Minister of Trade, Industry and Competition, Pox Dow, says he has decided to allow the Board of the National Lotteries Commission to complete its processes of appointing the fourth National Lottery Licence. That's despite allegations that the bidding process has been fraught with malfeasance and conflict of interest. Dow was responding to the questions raised by members of the Portfolio Committee on Trade, Industry and Competition on the status of the process. The National Lottery Commission has set today as the date to conclude the adjudication of the bidding process. After that, the Commission should hand over the report to the Minister, who will make the final decision. Ituba, the current licence holder, is also seeking renewal of the contract, which it won in 2015. Its contract was set to lapse at the end of May, but has been extended to May 31st of 2025. Dao says there is a need to stabilise governance and management at the National Lottery. Ourselves observed the public discourse with regards to the National Lotteries Commission. And we have taken a conscious view that we should not necessarily uh, respond in the public discourse uh, to the extent that uh, the committee has raised questions that we should respond. Uh, I note that uh, you are saying that members are not happy with the response, but we have responded to the best of our ability to the matters raised. I should emphasize that when there are allegations of uh, uh, malfeasance and or conflict of interest that could compromise processes, that would certainly fo focus on those. So uh, to the extent that uh, uh, these matters have been raised as allegations and would be important to, re to reflect on, uh, specifically on the allegations made, uh, certainly would be able to reflect on that and undertake the necessary processes to ensure that we're able to deal with matters of potential conflict of interest uh, and matters related to property. Uh, we have taken the view that, in fact, we should allow the board to complete its processes. That notwithstanding, then that relates to the issuance of the license. As you would appreciate, that process started um, before the elections, long before the elections. So the process is well underway, uh, and we thought it is important that we allow that process to conclude. Part of the mechanism that is that's in place uh, is to ensure that we have a property review of that entire process so that we are able to satisfy ourselves that, in fact, uh, the matters under consideration have passed the scrutiny that is required. And we have already appointed the necessary agencies to undertake a uh, property review so that the recommendations that are made to us, the report around property uh, and matters related to the contents of the submission all constitute part of the final decision that is made. So we'll deal with those matters as and when they arrive in line with the process that's prescribed. But otherwise, with regards to the public discourse, we thought that it might not be appropriate uh, to enter into the public discourse uh, with regards to the National Lotteries Commission. Uh, we do, as part of the overall commitment that we've made, agree on the need to stabilize both governance, governance and management uh, in all the agencies, including the National Lotteries Commission.